Hey guys, Manic Rickerian here, and in this video I'd like to talk more about planetary rulerships. Specifically, we're going to talk about what a dispositor is, how to find it in a chart, and what that kind of means. Because I know that can be sort of an intimidating word, but it's actually a fairly simple concept in astrology, and it's definitely instrumental when it comes to reading birth charts. And this is actually part two in my series on planetary rulerships, so definitely cover part one if you haven't already, just because that lays sort of some of the framework or some of the context of the things we'll be talking about here. So if you have watched part one, then you'll already know that planets rule over signs which they share themes with, and they can be thought to be at home in those locations because they function in a strong, familiar way when in those signs of domicile. But what happens when a planet is in a sign which it does not rule over? So in this example, the sun is in Cancer. When the sun is in Cancer, the, the sun is in the moon's sign of domicile, since the moon rules Cancer or is at home there. This means that in this example, the sun is ruled by the moon. So in other words, the location of the moon will act as a sort of commander or leader, taking charge and being the first in command before the sun. The position of the sun's ruler, the moon in this case, will indicate how the sun acts. And then secondly, so there's two ways of looking at this. So you can also just picture how, you know, the sun is in Cancer. So Cancer is exploring a lot of the same themes that the moon typically would. So the sun here is going to be emotional, intuitive, nurturing. And these are all traits that we associate with Cancer, but we also associate with the moon. So the sun is almost acting in a lunar type of way. The sun is almost taking on some traits of the moon being in the moon sign of domicile. But also the moon is in charge here. It's the boss, sort of. The moon in Libra has the first say and the final say. So the moon in this example is the dispositor. It's the ruling planet. In other words, it's the dispositor. So that's what a dispositor is. In addition, the ancients believed that it would be the dispositor's job, so to speak, to look after and provide for the planet occupying its sign of domicile, much like a host would provide for a guest. In the aforementioned example, Libra Moon squares Cancer Sun by sign, making a 90 degree angle, and so the Moon is able to make a strong connection with the Sun. This is a harsh aspect, but it is a connection nonetheless, so although the Sun is outside of its home and plays a subservient role, it is well accommodated for by the Libra Moon. So let's kind of put this in some other words to make it easier to understand. So the sun, you know, we've already established the sun is in a sort of slightly weakened or subservient role. Um, it's depending on the moon for guidance or for leadership because the sun is outside of its home. But now how strong the sun is supported by the moon depends on the angle. And which angle it is doesn't so much matter for, for this particular subject that we're talking about here, it would have other effects in, um, in astrology, in a birth chart. But for what we're talking about here, the sun will be strong as long as there's a major aspect with the moon. So a major aspect would be a sextile, a square, a trine, an opposition, or a conjunction. And we don't know the exact aspects in this example, but let's just say for the sake of simplicity that the sun is at 15 degrees and the moon is at 15 degrees degrees. So the sun is at 15 degrees Cancer, the moon is at 15 degrees Libra. Well, in that case, the moon is making an exact square with the sun. So there's very much a strong aspect there. And so, you know, that would mean that although the sun is outside of its home, it's still strong because it's supported by the dispositor or by the ruling planet, which is the moon. And let's just imagine for a second that the moon, it's not in Libra, let's imagine it's in Gemini. Well, in that case, there wouldn't be a strong connection. The sun wouldn't have a strong aspect with the moon or with the dispositor. And so the sun would actually be in a weakened state since it's, you know, it's not in its domicile sign and it's not having a strong aspect with the, with the dispositor or ruling planet. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the gist of what a dispositor is and how that sort of works in a chart. If you have any input or suggestions, definitely leave a comment below or you can email me at manic.mercurian at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.